In this video, we'll be looking at date validation. Here is where we verify correct range and that the date is in the format of a four digit E, two digit for the month and two digits for the day. And, um, and so that's basically a string and we're just using split. We're not using any date time feature. So this is a function that we will write and here is where we will call the function. So let's start off with this uh, function. We'll return true or false. Uh, uh, depending on the result. Okay, so let's assume that the date entered user entry is coming in as false. So we'll put the result as false and we will also return that result before we forget to and then what we want to do is we want to just assume that we've finished writing off all of this let's just see how we can call this function so we want to uh, say or capture the result of calling this function And passing to it user entry and then we want to say well let's print let's print what the result is print that is not a oh sorry that is a valid date but this is coming in as false anyway so we want to sort of say uh, if if not valid we want to say that is a valid uh, not a valid that is not a valid date else we'll say this is a valid date let's run this program so if Whatever I put in, so even if I put in a valid date, it's still going to tell me that it's not a valid date because this is always coming in as false. So we want to put in some conditions <clears throat> such that this value changes to true eventually somehow. We want to check. So first we want to use the uh, split method. And this should return three elements. Three elements as in the year, the month and the day. So let's say dot split. So we want to capture that into a, a list variable called date list. <clears throat> so at this point, this really comes back with three elements, assuming that we've put in a valid date. So let's just sort of assume that this is our date. Now what we want to do is we want to check if the return value is equal to three. And if it's true, we want to continue checking. So here we'll say if length of, uh, sorry, I don't know how you do it. If length of the list is equal to three, that's when we want to continue further checking. Now over here, what we want to do is we want to extract each element into its own variable for easier reference. So what that means is into a variable called year, we want to put date list zero. So this will basically have, for example, 2023. And then in month, we will put in index one. This is our second element, which would be 12, assuming that that's what the users entered. And then in today, we will put in, uh, that will be the, the last index, which is two, our third element, which is also 12, just from here, assuming that's what the user enters. So put that down here, assuming that the user's putting this value in. <clears throat> All right, so now what we wanna do is, now we want to check if each element in the list is of correct length, and if true, then we continue checking. But before that, let's just say um, result is equal to true. Let's just see what we get at this point. So here, if we say 2023, 12, 12, in this case, we get that this is a valid date. But then at the, at the 
So let me just get rid of these comments because I will change these values. So if then we say, what if we try with a date like that's So this one, one that's equal to four. So this sh should p fail our um, fail our checks. So putting anything more than three um, elements, that's gonna sort of get this to be false. Okay, so this has actually will not pass this this you know format. Okay, so now we can move on. I will take this part off. This just for debugging purposes. And here we want to check if each element in the list is of correct length. So here we want to see if the length of the year is equal to four, four digits, and that the length of the month, month, is equal to two, and the length of day is equal to also to in this case um, we'll go down here in this this part so I would I would like to set result to true again for debugging purposes is equal to true we haven't finished validating but um, we still want to check every condition so if we pass this uh, this part here, um, let's put in this example. So it will not pass, for example, 202 and 2023 will be okay, but it will not pass 1 and 12 and it will not pass 2023, 12 and 1. So all of these should fail this test. Let's give this a run. <clears throat> so the first one was 2202. That's not a valid date. And one thing we can do down here is to actually change this to a while. And what that will do is it will <clears throat> it, it will not let the user out of this until they actually put in a correct date. But one thing we need to do is copy this part here and paste it down as well so that we don't go into an infinite loop. So here we can say, I can actually make use of this line. Uh, put a new line there and then enter the string because it's just want to break it down a little bit. And enter a day in the form. Yeah, I can take that part out as well because that was just a temporary value. Uh, that, that looks okay. I think that's about it. We get rid of the else because once we're out of the while loop, that means everything is valid. So let's let's run this again. And let's try with this putting a one digit for the month. So it's not a valid date. And let's try one digit for the day. That's also a not a valid date. Let's make it happy. Make sure that it actually works in the valid yeah, that's okay. All right, so that check is working correctly. So let's take this part out, maybe. And I'll put it here because that's when we actually will set result to true. So here we want to check if the value for each element is a digit and is not a letter. And if true, we continue the check. So we will perform further checks. If year dot is digit, And we want to make sure that we use AND because we don't want this to pass if any of these are false. Same as this line over here. And if the day is a digit. Okay, so in this case, let's set result to true. Let's see what we get. So... will not pass um, 2023 12 2 that will not work 2023 um, w 12 um, www w 12 12 okay let's give these a shot 
So this is not a valid date. This is not a valid date. And this is not a valid date. And let's give it a valid date so that we can end the loop. All right, so looking gorgeous up to this point. Now we want to check. Uh, all right, I think I might have. Yeah, so if the length is OK, if the digit is OK, we want to check if the range for each element, um, check the range for each element. And if valid, set result to true. OK, so one more check. Um, the range is up to you. I'm thinking from 1,900, I'd like the year to be within that range between maximum of 2,100. But remember, year is a string. So we need to convert that to an integer using the int function. And we will still use and because we don't want this to pass if any of these any of these three are not within the right range. So I'm just going to break this off and go to a new line using the backslash. And now we will continue. Now for the month, it'll be between one and it could also be equal to, month, to one. And less than, but equal to 12. This is acceptable. Let's do and. Let's do one more check. And then the same thing for the day. Uh, if it is less or equal to integer day, but also, sorry, if day is greater than or equal to one, but falls between um, the ranges of one to 31, but equal to one and equal to 31. Yeah, so this, this actually reads as if day is greater or equal than equal to one, but less than or equal to 31. In this case, we will set, let's just put a column there, which I had forgotten, result to true. So we've gone through so many checks just so that in the end, we can say that, okay, we are happy now. Uh, so let's see um, some checks here. We'll not pass uh 20 2200 will not pass 20 23 13 12 20 23 12 32 these are invalid dates uh, ranges so let's run our program and make sure that it actually works as expected that is not a valid date That is also not a valid date. And let's try this one. This is also not a valid date. And let's just give it anything like a string like that or, you know, 2023 and some sort of just string. Yeah, let's give it now a valid date. It would be good to go back and, you know, check all of these dates there. But um, yeah, I'll leave that to you. Um, that's it. It's a long story, but hope it was helpful to you and I'll see you in the uh, coming ones.